Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Izanami Forge and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Izanami Forge that is located on Nessus. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on the link on the description box below for your chance to win. Now this quest is very long and it took me a little bit over three and a half hours to actually complete. And before you could do any quest step that has to do with this forge, you need to have done and completed the Gofanon Forge. And if you haven't unlocked the Gofanon Forge, then I will put the full quest line in an annotation at the top right of the screen, or you guys can find a link to it in the description box below. So, after you beat the Gofanon Forge, what you want to do is head to Nessus, and then you want to keep killing Vex until you get a Vex Transponder. After you receive the Vex Transponder, what you want to do is kill 100 Vex. And if you're in a group, all kills will be shared, as long as you guys are in the same area. So that means if your buddy kills a Vex when you're close, you will get credit for it. Once you get all 100 kills, you will get an update on the quest that says Transponder Signal Lost. And then you want to head into the Hollows and do the Heroic Public Event. Once that's completed, the Vex Transponder will update and then you will have to kill 20 Minotaurs, or Minotaurs, if you're from the UK. The perfect area that I found was the best for us that actually worked was the Artifact's Edge. There you will have two different Minotaurs and if you go into the Lost Sector in the Artifact's Edge, then you'll have another Minotaur at the end. Now you can do this until the public event spawns in the Hollows, and when it does spawn, make the public event heroic. That way, there will be more Minotaurs that actually spawn. After killing all 20 Minotaurs, you will get an update in the quest called the Black Armory Signature. Go through the portal and then make your way to the mission. Upon killing all of the adds, you are going to have to hack three different Vex Confluxes and then eliminate the boss. Once the mission is complete, we will be given a broken Izanami Igniter that we would have to bring to Ada 1. After speaking to 801, we will have to do three heroic public events. The Glimmer Extraction, which is Ritual, and the Spire of Integration. You can do these public events in any order at the corresponding places of where the public event spawns. After the third heroic public event is completed, you will be given the refurbished Izanami Igniter, where we would have to get Blended Aether from Fallen Precision Multi-Kills, Condensed Blights from taking Blights in Lost Sectors on IO, and you have to do it on Lost Sectors, otherwise you will not get credit, as well as Radiolarian Vapor from the Investigation on Nessus. For the Blended Aether, I went to the Terminus East Lost Sector in the EDZ. For the Condensed Blight, I went to the Sanctum of Bones Lost Sector, and that is by the Rupture. And then the Cistern on Nessus for the Story Mission. Inside the story mission, you need to gather Vex energy, and you do so by hacking and siphoning three Vex Confluxes. Once you complete the story mission, you need to go to and complete the Valunda Forge. After you beat the Valunda Forge, go ahead and bring the Izanami Igniter to 801. After seeing 801, you will have to complete an advanced version of the Inside Terminus Strike, and Extinguish will be a modifier that is turned on. You can solo the strike, but just don't die, because you will return to orbit if you do. Even after the strike is complete, the quest is still not done. Head back to Nessus, in the hollow lair, and then into the forge. Once in the forge, clear all the adds, and then you have to deal with the boss. In order to have the boss's shield actually turn around, you need to shoot that little mechanism on either side but you need to constantly shoot it, that way it does a full 180. Once the boss is down, go ahead and return to 801. But before returning to 801, make sure that you have enough space in your inventory for another weapon frame. If you already have a weapon frame in your inventory, then you will not be able to complete the next steps. After you pick up the weapon frame, you will get a triumph that says, Izanami Forge Discovered. Upon receiving this triumph, you will be able to see the Izanami Forge on the map of Nessus next to the Hollows. And that, my friends, bridges the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to.
Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.